Let me show you how you can build the prettiest URLs for your navigational structure within Bubble. So here I am within my main page and I have a container for all my content that holds all of the reusable elements. And each of these reusable elements acts as a certain page. So if I click on the Explore page, I want to show the reusable element for Explore. And if I click on the Settings page, I want to show the reusable element for Settings. Now the way that I'm showing and hiding these are with Get Data from URL operators. But the really important part with the Get Data from URL is that I'm using a path segment as list with a type of a text. Now this combined with the contains and then an option set that I'm using for my navigational display will allow me to say that when this path is in the URL to show this reusable element. Now this makes your URLs really clean and pretty. Let me show you. So right here you can see that I have my index, my feed, and then when I go to my explore page, I'm on my explore page. But remember, this isn't actually a page. This is the same page and I'm just showing and hiding the reusable elements here, but in a really nice and clean fashion. So this is the prettiest way to build your URLs within Bubble, and hopefully you can use it too for your applications. So if you enjoyed this video, please follow me for more.